In this video, I'm going to show you filtered ping pong delays in Reaper. Now, the purpose of this video is to show you one of my favorite effects that I use in almost every mix, which is a filtered ping pong delay that pans back and forth and filters over time. And by panning left to right, it stays out of the way of some of the other most important instruments in the mix, like our kick, snare, and vocal. They tend to be in the middle. So by putting the effects left and right, or having them ping pong left and right, they stay out of the way of those instruments. And by filtering them, it creates a more dynamic effect, as you'll hear. Now, one of the ways we could do this is to put the effect right on the track. I have a kick, a snare, and a pad. Let's hear it now. Let's say we want to put the effect on the snare. We could put it right on the snare track, go to the track effects. We could search in the filter for delay and use the Rhea Delay plugin, which is a delay which comes with Reaper. So I know you have it. Bring down the wet a bit. Set the delay to a half of an eighth note. And let's hear what it sounds like. But the one problem with putting the effect right on the track is it can only be used on that track, on the snare in this situation. If I want to use it with other tracks in the mix, I want to put it on a separate track, known as an effects return. So we're creating effect sends and a return. So let's delete this, and instead, let's create a new track. I'll put it up here and name it Filter Delay, and we'll put the effect on this track. But the difference is we'll take the dry sound and remove it, as the dry sound will be coming from the other tracks. Just the wet sound, or delay, will come from this track, the effects return. So now, we'll set it up the same way, but we need to send our snare to it. So I'll grab the routing, drag and drop it over here. Notice the cursor changes, letting us know we're creating a send. And now we can send our snare to the delay right here. But as you can tell, it's not filtered or panning. We could bring up the feedback to get some more delays. but they're all panned in the middle. So instead, we can just create multiple taps or delays that pan left and right. So we can pan this one to the left, create another one, pan it to the right, and double the delay time to create this effect. But now we need to filter the effect. Go back to tap one, bring down, the filter, do the same with filter two, but a bit more. But we only have two repeats. We need more. So let's add another tap, bring the volume down 6 dB, make the delay longer. Pan it to the left, bring down the filter a bit more, add another tap, make that delay longer, and also more filtered. And pan that one to the right. Notice it's getting more filtered with each delay. Let's add two more, make it longer, pan it to the left, make it lower in volume, add another one to the right. Make it longer and filter these two a bit more. And let's do two more. And filter them even more.
notice how dynamic that effect winds up being. And to make it more interesting, I tend to put a reverb after this. So let's add reverbate. And just like that, we created a filtered ping pong delay for our snare. And again, we can add the other tracks to it just by sending to our effects return track. And to save this to use again, we could right click, go to effects chains, and save all the effects in their settings as an effects chain, which we could use again later. We could also do it a few other ways. Let's turn off our reverb. Now let's delete this delay and create another one. Again, we'll turn off the dry and set it to a 16th note, but this time we'll turn up the feedback. So we get repeats on the delay, but again, it's not panning or filtering. But we can add a pan plugin to create the panning effect. Type pan in the filter. We'll select ping pong pan, put it before the reverb, but after the delay, and it sounds like this. Make it wider and a bit faster. And now, it's panning like before, without having to create a different delay for each one. But it's still not filtering. So we can add a filter or an EQ to it to create that dynamic effect. Let's add an EQ. We'll use re-EQ, because again, it comes with Reaper, so I know you have it. We can remove all the bands, except for one. We'll make it a low-pass filter, make it more narrow, And now we'll touch this frequency band as the last touched parameter, go to the menu and choose parameter modulation. And right down here, we could choose an LFO, which modulates that EQ. Change the tempo sync to be in time with the song. Adjust the strength to not move as far and the baseline to be up here. Let's hear that. We could adjust the direction right here from positive to negative. So it goes up instead of down. We'll keep it the same way and have it go down for the delay. Let's hear it with the reverb. Now, if we don't want to use this ping pong pan effect, we could pan it the same way using parameter modulation. Go to our delay, go to the pan knob as the last touched parameter, go to parameter modulation, add the LFO for here. Notice the panning is being modulated. Again, we could set it to tempo sync. Notice it starts on the right side. We can reverse that by adjusting the phase to go from left to right.
Turn back on the reverb and our filter. It's panning and filtering a lot, creating a very dynamic effect. And again, we could save all this as an effects chain right over here. But we could also not even use this delay plugin. We'll still keep our filter and reverb, but we could add this plugin instead delay with tempo ping pong. Put it at the top, it sounds like this. Let's make it faster, remove the dry, bring up the wet. And that delay pans by itself. And again, we get our filter and our reverb to this. And again, we could save all this by right clicking, go to effects chains, and save all effects as a chain. And in this way, we can create a more dynamic effect that pans over time and filters the same way. So that's pretty much it. That's filtered ping pong delays in Reaper. I hope you learned something, hope you could use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bingo boys, let's go. Oh!